Drag Wisdom, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Y2K 20.02.05, which is 271 days left to our election. And by the way, I just witnessed the Senate Trumpist traitors pronouncing that creep, that Nazi slime ball, Penny Trump the Clown, innocent on both articles. Innocent. All the Democrats lined up together, including the moderates, to vote him guilty. And every single one of the Republicans, except in the first article, Romney sided with the Democrats for, you know, um, abuse of power. But he did not vote to impeach on the second article, which is obstruction of Congress. So basically what this traitorous party has done is given our Putin president, our Moscovian candidate, the president here, the creep, permission to continue to F with us. The Democrats responded to the Penny Trump fiend state of the disunion in grand fashion. From women Congress people wearing all white to some walking out in the middle to an outright boycott and for a grand finale, Nancy Pelosi ripping up the creep's speech as she stood behind him just when he finished up with his smirk and looking around and all the applause from his, from his cult. While not even mentioning his impeachment, Trump nevertheless made plenty of threats that night, hurling insults and mouthing lies as fast as a carnival barker at a sideshow. He even gave the Medal of Freedom to a racist birther, Rush Limbo, who is dying of cancer, thankfully, and once he is gone, there will be plenty of more to replace him. Meanwhile, he was given this Medal of Freedom, the same Medal of Freedom that was given to, say, Rosa Parks. Get it? Let's undermine everything our country stands for. I am glad that I did not view Penny Trump's The Clown performance. It was enough that I got clips, as you know, when I was watching during the, the news commentary. I despise the fiend, ladies and gentlemen. I absolutely despise that son of a bitch, Penny Trump the Clown. And he said enough to trigger me, such as bragging and lying about his fixing our economy, about how he will never allow socialism to take over our country and our health care system. Fascism, by the way, is A-OK. -okay. Penny Trump continued to brag about saving health insurance and supporting pre-existing conditions. Another lie. And then he threatened that he was going to give us new right-wing religious extremist fanatic judges all lined up for action. Looking forward to that, aren't we? More religious, fascist extremism to deny us our freedom and to deny women the right to choose. Also, labor unions will be under attack, too. And our education system. And our environment. And everything else we hold value. Penny Trump handed Red Grant Pence see from Rush Would Love, the James Bond film, and Nancy Pelosi, his speech, and refused to take her hand, you know, her extended hand. I understand that she was trying to be gracious, but I, personally, would have extended that fiend a pile of his favorite food, crap a la mode, instead. At the end of his speech, Penny Trump the Plown got a rousing applause from his acolytes. And right behind his cursed head, Nancy Pelosi was neatly ripping up the creep's speech, page by page by page. She did this so well that I believe that she would make a great president herself. I was gratified to see that the liberals present did not take any crap from the clown the evil clown, Penny Trump, in our White House. Penny Trump's speech did not reflect anything positive 
about our country. He did not say how he would unify us for a better future. All he did was campaign with fresh bloody meat for his base. The entire event was a sideshow, a reality TV travesty where people were given prizes, such as for a child to attend a private school instead of what now Trump is calling public schools, government schools, the inferior government schools. Dictators like this penny Trump the scum want us all to be as stupid and as ignorant as possible so that he can do whatever he wants. And you know, because they acquitted him today, these Trumpists in the Senate, he's going to be unbound. We're going to be in a big fight for the next several months until we're, we throw him out, hopefully. And our job must be to counter every single piece of lying trash that gets flushed out of his vomity mouth. And like I said before, Trump has at least 60 million followers, fanatic followers who support his Nazi agenda. This is not the people that voted for him in Y2K16. These are people who support him knowing full well the kind of evil creep he is. Trump has 60 million followers who don't care if children are put into cages. Or that their leader thinks that there are nice Nazis on the other side. They don't care that Penny Trump is messing with our Constitution and with our free elections. They don't care that he loves dictators more than freedom fighters. And these 60 million believe that climate change is a hoax. If you support that creep, you support everything that comes with them. I understand that the Democratic Party is dangerously divided, and the rich turds like Mike Bloomberg want to take full advantage of that. It is fine, fine to protest the creep when he tries to make a speech, but we would be better served if the Democratic Party pushed a consistent agenda, a progressive agenda imbued with our rule of law and our respect for freedom liberty and diversity. There are 60 million creeps ready to vote for a Putin operative. If he is reelected, we'll invite Putin to our country so that both of them can gloat over the tatters that our democratic republic will be. And I'm going to start hunkering down, ladies and gentlemen, because I believe that there's going to be, and it's very disturbing to me to say this, but we may end up with a civil war here, a real civil war. And how that's going to be fought, I have no idea, because we don't have North and South. Now we have it all over the place. We have anti-Trump states, and we have pro-Trump states. I guess there's plenty of room in this country, still some many, many, many acres of open space we could spill our blood in. But in the end, Putin especially will be laughing. But I gotta hunker down, I gotta get ready. I'm exercising now, I'm getting myself in shape. I, you know, I'm, seven, uh, I'm gonna be 70 in August. I wanna be ready, whatever I can do, to fight for the freedom, the dignity, the constitutional law of our country. Remember what he said. He is ready to make it rain. Trump, Trump Putin. Penny Trump the clown is going to make it rain, not cats and dogs, but instead partisan right wing judges who will curse generations to come. We'll be resting in our graves, us baby bunglers, but these young people and those coming after them and even those beyond are going to have to be dealing with with these right-wing, religious extremists, naked, ape, savage, creep, justices, injustices. Penny Trump's destruction of our country will be completed if we all stay at home and allow 
the 60 million Nazis who support the fiend to have their way with us. And I'm sorry for calling those 60 million creeps Nazis, but what else can I say? I mean, Bill Maher keeps insisting, you can hate Trump, but you can't hate his followers. Bill, I'm going to have a hard time following your advice because it's us, it's the people who allow evil to flourish. Who's responsible if an entire society gets thrown down into evil, into murder, all kinds of crap, Nazi crap? Whose fault is that? Yeah, we could right away blame the the pernicious leader, but you know, he needs followers. He needs people who are going to stand by and apathetically accept that evil's here and we're going to do nothing about it. We are going to stand by the blood of our neighbor and let him rot, and let her rot. That's what the 60 million creeps who support Trump are, and I do hate their guts too. We must be bold. And we must be in their fascist faces every day, every time we can, until the election day and beyond. We must rip up the penny Trump agenda the same way Nancy Pelosi ripped up his speech. Remember too, my friends, and say it loud. And keep saying it again and again because it is the truth. Fake Senate impeachment trial, no exoneration. Fake Senate impeachment trial, no exoneration. Fake Senate impeachment trial, no exoneration fake senate impeachment trial i'm talking to you you trump maggot penny crap the clown creep fake senate impeachment trial no exoneration